Hi everyone, I am Radha Krishna. I have explained the topics impact parameter and the scattering cross section in the previous video. Here, I would like to explain the relation between impact parameter and scattering angle. We know that the perpendicular distance between initial direction of alpha particle and nucleus N is called impact parameter. Suppose an alpha particle is moving towards a nucleus due to Columbic repulsive force, the path of alpha particle is deviated along this direction AB. This is uh, hyperbolic path. The perpendiculars between nucleus N and initial direction of alpha particle is P this P is called impact parameter. Now, the closest distance of alpha particle between point A and uh, N is called distance of closest approach that is B. The angle between initial direction of alpha particle and final direction of alpha particle is phi that is called scattering angle. Now, consider a nucleus of charge ZE stationary at point N and an alpha particle of mass M and charge 2E and velocity V0 approaching along the direction of AO. Due to columbic repulsive force, the alpha particle follows hyperbolic path ACB with the nucleus as its uh, focus. The lines AO and PO are asymptotes of the hyperbola and represent the initial and final direction of uh, alpha particle. P is the perpendicular distance from the nucleus N to the original direction of uh, alpha particle. This distance is called impact parameter and phi is the scattering angle. This is shown in the diagram. Here we check once again the diagram. In the diagram N is the nucleus of charge J ZE. And the alpha particle is at point A and moving with uh, velocity V0 initially. The line AO represents the initial direction of alpha particle and the line OB represents the final direction of alpha particle. Then these two lines are the asymptotes of the hyperbola. The angle between AO and uh, OB is a phi, this phi is called scattering angle and the perpendicular P between nucleus and initial direction of alpha particle is impact parameter. First of all, 
consider the case when alpha particle is directed straight towards the nucleus so that uh, p is equal to 0. In this case, the alpha particle will be stopped at distance b from the nucleus due to repulsive force and traces its uh, reverse path that is phi is equal to 1 degrees. The distance b is known as the distance of uh, closest approach. At distance, at this distance b, the electrostatic potential due to nucleus is ZE is equal to 4 pi epsilon 0 into b. Hence, the potential energy of the alpha particle at distance b from the nucleus is electrostatic potential into charge of the alpha particle that is equal to 2 ZE square by 4 pi epsilon 0 b. This gives the potential of the alpha particle at distance b. When the alpha particle is momentarily stopped at distance b, its kinetic energy half mv0 square is completely converted into its potential energy that is half mv0 square is equal to 2 ZE square by 4 pf long 0 b. Therefore, b is equal to ZE square by pi epsilon 0 mv 0 square. This b is distance of uh, closest approach, m is the mass of the alpha particle, v 0 is the velocity of the alpha particle at uh, point A. Now, this is equation 1. In practice, p is not equal to 0. In this case, the alpha particle is deflected through an angle which is uh, less than 1 degrees and uh, traverses hyperbolic path ACB. Let uh, V be the velocity of the alpha particle at the vertex uh, C. Then the angular momentum of alpha particle when it is at A is uh, mv 0 p. We know that the angular momentum is uh, is equal to linear momentum into this perpendicular distance that is mv0 into p. Now, the angular momentum of the alpha particle when it is at c is equal to mv into nc that is equal to mvd where nc is equal to d. According to law of conservation of angular momentum, mv0 p is equal to mvd or v is equal to v0 into p by d. Now, the kinetic energy of the alpha particle at point A is equal to half mv0 square, the kinetic energy of alpha particle at C is equal to half mv square, the potential of the alpha particle at point A is 0, the potential of the alpha particle at C is equal to 2 ZE square by 4 pi epsilon 0 d. According to law of conservation of energy, at point A, the total energy is half mv square plus c. At point C, the total energy is half mv square plus 2 ZE square by 4 pi epsilon 0 d. On solving this equation, we get v square is equal to v0 square minus uh, ZE square by pi epsilon 0 md or v square is equal to v0 square minus dv0 square by d that is v square is equal to v0 square into 1 minus v by d that is uh, equation 3. Substituting the value of uh, v from equation 2 in equation 3 we get v0 square p square by d square is equal to v0 square into 1 minus b by d that is equal to v0 into d minus b by d or p square is equal to d into d minus b. In this equation p is impact parameter, d is the 
distance of the alpha particle when it is at C, B is the distance of closest approach when the particle is at point A. That is equation 4. By the property of hyperbola, eccentricity of the hyperbola is E is equal to secant theta. Focal length O n is equal to E into O c that is equal to A into secant theta. Now, from figure Oyn is equal to p cosec theta, therefore a secant is equal to p cosec theta or a is equal to p cot theta. Again from figure nc is equal to no plus oc that is equal to a secant theta plus a that is equal to a into 1 plus secant theta. Therefore d is equal to p cot theta into 1 plus secant theta that is equal to p into cot theta plus 1 by sin theta that is equal to p into cot theta sin theta plus 1 by sin theta that is equal to p into cos theta plus 1 by sin theta that is equal to p into 2 cos theta by 2 by 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 where 1 plus cos theta is equal to 2 cos theta by 2 sin theta is equal to 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. Therefore, d is equal to p cot theta by 2 that is equation 5. Now, substituting the value of d from equation 5 in equation 4, we get p square is equal to p cot theta by 2 into p cot theta by 2 minus b or p is equal to cot theta by 2 into p cot theta by 2 minus b or p is equal to p cot square theta by 2 minus b cot theta by 2. Therefore, b is equal to p into cot square theta by 2 minus 1 by cot theta by 2 that is equal to p into cot theta by 2 minus tan theta by 2. On expanding this equation, we get b is equal to p into cos theta by 2 by sin theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 by cos theta by 2 that is equal to p into cos square theta by 2 minus sin square theta by 2 by sin theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 or 2p is equal to 2p into cos theta by 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 is equal to 2p into cos theta by sin theta. Therefore, b is equal to 2p cot theta by 2 that is equal to 2p into cot pi minus phi by 2 where from equation from the diagram theta is equal to pi minus phi by 2 that is equal to 2p into cot pi by 2 minus phi by 2 that is equal to 2p into tan phi by 2 therefore tan phi by 2 is equal to b by 2p in this equation, phi is the scattering angle, b is uh, distance of closest approach, p is uh, impact parameter. Substituting the value of b from equation 1 in equation 6, we get tan phi by 2 is equal to z e square by 2 pi epsilon 0 m v 0 square p. This is the equation which gives the relation between scattering angle and impact parameter p. From this equation, we can determine the scattering angle phi. It is clear that smaller the value of p, the greater will be phi. That is, if p is equal to 0, phi is equal to 1 degrees. In this way, we can derive the relation between scattering angle and impact parameter p. Now, the remaining topics Rutherford scattering cross section and Rutherford scattering formula will be explained in the next video lecture.